What is up chosen ones, it's your boy Shriki and welcome to Pokemon Dark Fire. Everything that you need to know about this game will be down in the description as well as the link to the game. And with that said, let's jump into today's video. Hello there, how are you? Welcome to the beautiful Tenjo region. My name is Professor Hawthorne, I'm a Pokemon researcher. This is what we call a Pokemon. Alright, we got a nice La Togepi. Tenjo is alive with Pokemon. Here, we live side by side with them, exploring the lush forests, sparkling rivers, and giant mountains together. We play Pokemon, work with Pokemon, and battle with Pokemon. But even in a place as magical as Tenjo, there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. They hold many mysteries waiting to be uncovered. That's why I've dedicated myself to becoming a Pokemon professor, to discover all the secrets hidden within Tenjo and his Pokemon. And you are, I am, the one and only. I mean, girls probably not looking too shabby if I do say so myself, but you already know if you're not going with the boy, yes sir, alright? Let's go on ahead and punch in our name real quick. And let's get things rolling, right? Ha, huh, okay. You're Shuriki who lives right here in Shandra village. I think that's actually how you pronounce it, right? Most of definitely gonna rock up with that pronunciation for sure. Alright, Shuriki. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon adventure is about to begin. Take a deep breath and dive into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendship await. I'll be looking forward to seeing you later, Shriki. Don't forget to visit me in my Pokemon lab. I say less, my boy. Wait, are we in a dream or something? Because this most definitely feels like a dream of some sort, right? Hey, who's this kid? Relax, Grunt. Kid, come here. So, not only are you meddlesome, but you're also a coward. You see, these Pokemon, they're horrendously powerful. So powerful, in fact, that if you do not leave this place immediately. Lucian. Oh, so that's his name. Yes, boss? Let the kids spectate. Aye, for sure. For sure, for sure. I mean, I, for one, wouldn't have stepped back that closer, you know what I'm saying? But, it's all fine and dandy. Wait, hold up. Did the, did the Feraligator just just lost to a... I mean, it's not impossible for that to happen, but let me know down in the comment section which way you think the fight would go. Like, realistically speaking, which one do you think would most likely come out on top, right? So let me know what you think down in the, um, the comment section, right? No. My Feraligator. How did you defeat it with fire? You've, you've vaporized it. You, you've burned it to ashes. It won't go back in its Pokeball. What? They have completely destroyed it? It can't be! How can a Pokemon be this strong? My Feraligator, it's gone. Someone. Anyone. Damn, cuz. It's kinda sad, my boy. Hmm, what a pathetic Pokemon. You're weak, trainer. Pay up. I... I can't believe it. What do we do with the ashes? It's your problem. I suggest you cleaned up what's left of it anyways. You don't want to be the next one who gets incinerated. Yes, sir. You see this kid? This is real battling. Pokemon trainers have become soft, they have become weak and spineless. Pokemon are friends, they are merely our tools, our slaves. My name is Lucian, you wish you never had met me. I'll take your Pokemon and make them fight to the death. Yes, boss? The kid has seen to- Oh, snap, they're planning to silence us. What should we do to the kid, boss? Where's my pincher? It just like get. Oh nah. Yo, my boy, you better make a run for it. These dudes ain't playing around. Shrieky. Open the door, you lazy child. I'm assuming that's her mom, right? Rise and shine, aye. Cool. Hold up, let me uh, just give this PC a quick check to see if there's anything in there for me also. The fast forward is a bit laggy so we might have to refrain from using it. Watch me say that and then a couple minutes later I'm the one who's abusing it, you know what I'm saying? Can't live without that fast forward if I'm being completely honest with you. I've been knocking on your door all morning. Oh Shiriki, you look flustered. Were you having a bad dream? You poor thing. I'm 
saying, I'm saying. Oh, I forgot to mention that Tyler has been calling you this morning. The village has been a lot louder ever since he moved in next door. Shriki, I suggest you wake yourself up and go and see him. Alright, for sure. Let me just explore my surroundings before I take a leap outside and I'm saying and this is my mom's room. Alright, nice. But like, why would you put the potion in the um... In the trash though, huh mom? Like, why would you put the potion in the trash? And I probably shouldn't be searching around that much let's just take a next little, uh, look at my place see if i'm missing anything hopefully not flowers are arranged neatly in an orange vase all right our vase where the freak actually want to uh pronounce that it's an amped for your guitar wait i play guitar i it's a shiny yamaha guitar i've never heard of that before it sounds like it sounds like uh it sounds like someone from japan or you know china or something Right, and this is the uh, beautiful region of Tenjo. Alright, cool, cool. Most definitely. Yo. Oh, Shriki. Almost forgot. As promised, here are your new shoes. They'll put a little more spring in your step. Right, that's what I love to hear. That spring being indifferent. They look great. Don't get them too dirty when they're in the mud. Alright, for sure. Like, you can also definitely trust me with these bad boys. Like, ain't no ever gonna do them. They're in great hands, you know what I'm saying? On great feet. Shrieky! That's pop. Mm. Hey, Snorlax, I was beginning to think I would need a Poke Flute to wake you up. Anyway, listen, Shrieky, there's an infestation of Pokemon in the professor's lab. We need to go and start the problem. If we don't show the professor what we're capable of, I fear he will never give us a Pokemon of our own. Let's go there and show him how real Pokemon trainers fight. Meet me by the professor's lab, eh? And he just skedaddles off like that. Cool. And this leads back here. Alright, figured. 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 Chandra Village. Neat. A spot, my boy. Technology is incredible. There are communities online who reverse engineer games and remake them as their own. I think it's called Rome hacking. Rome hacking for sure. Something that I have no knowledge in whatsoever, right? So we just gotta leave that to the pros. Alright. So we need surf in order to. We need waterfall, right? We need water. So what's up that way? What is up that way? It looks like it would like um lead to the the Pokemon League or something. Hold up, so what's up that way? Oh wait, nothing. So it's just row 31 which we have already established but it leads to this place that we unfortunately don't know anything about because we can't see the name. Alright, cool. So I'm assuming the League might be on this la okay. Kidoki, so there is no name for those two, for these three, and there's probably more that doesn't have a name yet, right? These two as well. Also, down here, they don't have a name, right? Only this, the Road 25, the Road 21, the, the um, Chandra Village, the Sunrise Stone, and up further. They all have names. It, wait, no, not this one. Either. This one doesn't have any name. The Tamarack Tunnel. So I'm assuming over here might be the Snowdrift Forest, alright. High Wind Village. And it's a Palace of Ice, right? It looks like the Pokemon League resides in like the Palace of Ice. I mean, that's a kind of a fitting place to keep a Pokemon League, right? The Palace of Ice sounds pretty cool. Right, so half these places don't have any names, so we're just gonna have to leave them be. Probably later on, the creator will put some name on them, and I'm saying just slap some name on those bad boys, and they'll be good to go. Also, this game has been gone for like, what, five years? I know it came out like a G. The structure has stood for over 200 years. Damn. It seems that its design was inspired by the ghost type Pokemon Dusclops. Some people even say they have heard strange noises inside it, so why don't you go and check it out, you know what I'm saying? You look like you'd be into that stuff. Yo. Chandra Village is best known for its magical scent from the floors. In the summertime, we often receive visits from Sunflower and Skip Room, alright? Wait, hold up. We can just we can just sneak into people's house like this. What the freak? Hi. Why do I have the feeling this is Tyler's house? <laughs> Why do I have the feeling this is actually Tyler's house? I knew it. Tyler's PC and an email from the trainer school. All right, what boy's going in. What's this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing in your mother's bedroom. I probably shouldn't even. Hold up. Let me. Go down here as well as button. 
like she's not questioning how I actually got into her uh, place you know you know what I'm saying like nobody ever asks that like Pokemon games are weird bro hi Shriki how are you and your mother doing Tala has gone to Professor Slam for sure figured he told me yo my family and I moved to Tenjo from the Hoenn region. The weather in Hoenn was too unpredictable at times. I mean, with Groden and Kyogre and Rayquaza, of course. It's bound to be a problem. Alright, hold up. Before you do that, you ask Bob. I'm sorry for my husband's jokes. You're so embarrassing. What jokes? Alright. Sure. What did one Jedude say to the other Jedude? Let's rock. I mean, yeah, that is indeed kind of trash, but, you know. We'll let it slide because... We get a Pokeball, alright. Use this to catch our Pokemon. It doesn't always work though. We know that, my boy. Hold up, before we move on over to get our very first Pokemon, let's check. Oh, we can't go that way. Hold up, can we find things in rocks? I'm interested to see if we can find things in rocks. See, I'm already abusing the fast forward. See, I just can't live without it. Uh, Road 25. Yo. As you can see, a devastating rock slide has. Wait, hold up. Where is the uh, where, where is the devastating rock slide? I, I, I legit like I'm not seeing any devastating rock slide. Like my boy, what are you talking about? Has caused this mess. It's going to have to get cleaned up before we can proceed. I, eh? I mean, I don't see any devastating rock slide, but alright, cool, cool. We ain't gonna argue anything like that. Let's just uh, move on. So spot them. Right, here we are. But Professor Hawthorne, if you don't let us in there, the Rattata will destroy your research notes. Tyler, blow your own Pokemon, I have no other choice but to say no. It's far too dangerous to let you in there on your own. Shriki. Professor Hawthorne, I won't be alone. Shriki's here to help too. Shriki, will you help Tyler with the Rattata? For sure. That's the spirit, Shriki. Professor, we will help. We won't let you down. Very well. Both of you be very careful. I have left two Pokemon inside the facilities outside of their Pokeballs. If you can find a way to tame them and defeat the Wairatata, I'll consider both of you Pokemon trainers. Alright. We won't let you down, Professor. Shriki. Let's show the Professor what we're made of. Shriki. Follow Tyler and pick a Pokemon to fight with. Let me know when you're both done. Alright. They can count on us. Also, you have two months. Why didn't you just, like, you know, use them in the first place to get rid of the infestation, right? Professor Hawthorne left a couple of Pokemon at the back of the lab. They look pretty tame to me. Let's go check them out, aye? For sure, for sure. Hmm. Do you think these Pokemon want to sit around an old man all day, watching him while he writes boring lab notes? Ch Mom wants me spend time with Professor Hawthorne. How do they watch paint dry? The man does nothing all day except fill it with his Pokedex. Pokedex won't save you from my Tata Shiriki. A Pokemon will. Here, take one of these Pokeballs. Alright, nice. I mean, we already obtained one from the lame joke, dude. Hold that Pokeball in your hand. We're gonna catch these Pokemon and help get rid of this infestation. Be careful, though. Shiriki, I only have two Pokeballs left. We can't be careless with this. What's more, is this is the only chance Professor will give us to prove we can be Pokemon trainers. My advice is to creep up slowly and try not to spook them. Pick a Pokemon, Shiriki, alright? We already know which one we're going with. We ain't even wasting time. Look, I love Pikachu. But we have so many options when it comes on to um EV, right? I know it's time to give Eevee the baddest nickname in existence. The baddest nickname in existence. Wait, hold on. Alright, there we go. Cure him. Good job, Shriki. Eevee is a great choice, okay? Don't leave Pikachu to catch. Come on, aye? Do your thing, my boy. Alright, good job. We did it, Shiriki. I caught a Pikachu. Okay, let's check out the Rattata. Lead the way. Alright. Say, Shiriki, let me watch you in battle. No, you've got a Pokemon. These Rattata shouldn't be a problem, okay? Tell you what. If you can get rid of them, I'll buy you myself, okay? Show me what you got. Alright, for sure. So, first up is this one. So, we just finna end this off quickly, right? And it's a level 2? Yeah, it's cooked. I ain't even gotta act. It's cooked. 
I ain't even have to ask. It is cooked. Alright. This is the last one. Bro, stop moving. Jesus Christ. Like, why do you move and I move? You weird. Alright, hold up. Let me give you a tackle real quick. You're gonna survive this with more health because you have uh, a higher level than the last one. So of course you was gonna survive this. Nice. I mean, XP not too shabby if I do this on myself. Alright, yo. Good job, Shriki. It looks like you know how to battle. Let's go on to Professor Hart when the infestation has been handled. Meet me at my house afterwards and we can talk about her battle, eh? Alright, yo, let's check up on this uh, worker here. Professor is such a wimp. If these ratata won't distract me, alright? My dude is dedicated to his work. Much respect to that guy. How did he get on with the ratata, Shriki? Wow, Shriki, I. You. You tame my Pokemon. You even beat the pests using the Pokemon. I can't believe it. Well, Shriki, you have proved yourself as a real Pokemon trainer. Give the Pokemon you caught. Take it as a token of my thanks. Alright? Much respect, my boy. Much respect. Also, please, take this Pokedex. Alright, nice. And I'm assuming we're gonna have to give one to Tyler. I bet he ran off without uh, collecting one from the professor. It's a vital tool if you're serious about becoming a good trainer. Oh yes, Tyler ran off somewhere in a hurry. I think he's excited to have his first official Pokemon. We should find him and try battling in the real world. There is a lot to learn out there. Well, I must return to the lab and get back to work. Thanks again, Shriki. Alright. Wait, hold up. Our man... Our Mon, not man, our Mon actually follows behind us. So that's pretty dope. That's a, that's a nice little uh, thing the creator add into the game, for sure, for sure. I was not expecting that also. Is our Mon fully healed or not? Oh. So let's head back to our mom and see if we can get a quick heal, but... I like what the creator did there. I'm a huge fan of when Pokemon is falling behind you. So this is a, a major plus for me. I already love this game already. This is a huge plus for me. I love when your mons get to follow behind you. It just feels a lot more better. You know what I'm saying? So this is an an absolute dub. My bag's packed. My Pokemon's ready. All set for an epic adventure. Shiriki. Yo. How's it going, Shriki? Did Professor Harton give you a Pokemon too? That's awesome! Oh yes, I almost forgot. As promised, let's stop that battle. But I want you, Shriki. I won't hold back. Here I come, alright? I mean, I wasn't planning to either. Like, I'm going all out. I'm go- Ooh, hold up. His sprite do be going in though. I can't lie. His sprite do be going in though. Let me uh, get that tackle up. Can I get a crit? Nope. But that did. A hella damage. And this finna do some hella damage too, right? Oh, nah. But he did get the paralysis off. That sucks. Ooh, nice. I mean, we got this one in the bag. Plus, if anything is supposed to go downhill, we have the uh, potion as backup. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Can we get a... Uh, I don't think we can get a level 7. Alright, um, let's take off. Do I want to put dirt in people's eyes? And Pokemon eyes? Most definitely, alright, let's take off, um, let's take off, girl. We don't need that. That is trash, cuz. That is absolute garbage. Alright, nice. Oh, I got 300, cool. That was some battle, Shriki. You fought really well. I'm gonna go check out Route 1 and see what kind of Pokemon are around. Why don't you come join me soon and we can both train our Pokemon together? See ya, alright. I mean, we already searched in his room. He doesn't know that, though, so, you know. We don't need to check the trash for any potion stuff like that because we already know. Alright, let's go grab a quick heal and I'll see you guys on row one. Hey Shriki, I decided to bring my Pokemon here after a battle at my house. You can toughen up your Pokemon in areas with a lot of grass. Here, I'll show you a cool area. Follow me. Hi. Either way for sure, for sure. Okay, I need you to listen carefully. Wild Pokemon jump out in grassy areas like these, and you should be prepared. So Pokemon can be really strong. Let's turn our Pokemon and see what we can find around here. Nah, I'ma just leave you to that. 
Wait, hold up. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this at all. Whoa, it looks like a Pidgey. Be careful, Shrieky. Pidgeys can strike ferociously if they feel threatened or alarmed. Alright. Shrieky, look out! Don't sweat it, bro. I got this. It's gonna be light work. As long as it's not level close to my level. Alright, I mean, it's close to my level, but it's still getting worked regardless, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never losing. Nice. Half health. Sweet. Alright, there we go. And we got our crit. Nice. Crit coming in clutch. Good job, Shrieky. You handled that picture really well. I was a little worried it was going to whip a sand attack. Anyway, with that Pidgey dealt with, I'm going to explore the ton ahead. There's a really nice hotel there and I want to show people my new Pokemon. Oh, also a quick heads up. I've heard they're having some issues with Krabby on the beach, so I definitely won't be going there. See ya. Alright, so that is most definitely my um, next destination. Wait, hold up. Did you see how quick my dude just leaped from down? Wait, hold up. Look at this. Look how quick my dude Bro, I ain't going nowhere. Like, look how quick my dude just leaped from down there. My dude was like... You ain't leaving me, boy. I'm right behind you, boy. Hi. So down there. This truck won't be moving for a while. The driver is dropping off a large box of book boss to the professor. Okie dokie. So he waits until we were gone to collect the box of um Pokeballs. I I see your ways, Professor. Much respect for the um Pokemon and the Pokedex though. Wait, hold up, yo, you good? You good, Carl? I mean we can't interact with him, so that's probably like a bug or something, but Bro's just over there chilling for real, so let's just leave him to it. Also, what is your ability, Eevee? I need to know. I need to know. Adaptability. Boosts the same type attacks. Alright. I see you. Bro got that adaptability. Bro must be Maharaga or something. Yo, spot. Incredible. Just incredible. You handled that PG exceptionally. You are a real trainer to watch. Bravo, alright. Lots of beginners go through this road, and I get to see them all. They remind me of when I was a wee lad starting out my journey. Alright. Great things away ahead. For sure, for sure. Yo, I managed to get this far without a Pokemon, but no, I'm afraid to go on. I mean, I could escort you to wherever you need to go, right? It's the least I can do. Hey, a new trainer. Listen, do you see how close the pond banks are to each other right here? I'm gonna try and jump in. Watch and learn, eh? We're watching for sure, for sure. Okay, here goes nothing. Did you see that? That was too easy. Now your turn. I for sure. Let me get that. See? And there you go. You can jump over small gaps like this anywhere in the Tenjo region. Be sure to keep a lookout for them. Who knows what secrets you'll find. I for sure. For sure, for sure. Yo. There's no end to education. It is not that you read a book, pass an examination, and finish with education. The whole life, from the moment you are born to the moment you die, is a process of learning. I mean, you can't process learning when you're dead, though. Yo. The only possible way to tame a Pokemon is to catch it using a Pokeball. A wild PG attacked my son earlier in Route 1, or on Route 1, right? And he had to run because he didn't have any Pokeballs to catch it. I wonder if it's still lurking there. Nah, I already dealt with that. The region of Tenjo was once so peaceful and secure. Pokemon used to live in harmony with humans and things were never this bad. It has only been in recent years that Pokemon have begun to attack humans, seemingly out of nowhere. Maybe the Tenjo government has put something in the air. I don't know. Yo. Alright, we can pick the channel that we want. Cool. We got the Poke Talk, we got the Ten News, and we got the Josie Podcast. I'ma leave that up to you all to fiddle with. I might fill it with it off screen, you know what I'm saying, but definitely up to you guys if you want to watch some TVs and stuff like that. For me, I prefer the fuse, you know what I'm saying? That's where I learned. Yo, have you seen the news? Have you? Just disastrous. Underground battling, hurting Pokemon. Ah, just terrible. I'm telling you, my boy. That Houndoom had no chill in my dream. Ah, your Eevee's so cute. I wish I had my own Pokemon. One day. One day for sure. Not just anybody can wield the power of a Pokemon. You, you got to come of age, you know what I'm saying? You got to come of age. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I keep checking the rocks when I know I can't find anything in them. Alright, nice. Got that Pokeball. Sweet. Any other houses that I missed? No. Yo. 
Did you hear about the crab infestation on the beach? It's scary. They're currently looking for people to solve the problem. I'm so glad I never go down there. Wait, hold up. If a Pokemon gets hurt and loses its, its HP and faints, it won't be able to battle. To prevent your Pokemon from fainting, restore its HP with a potion. Alright. Yo! I can't buy any Pokeballs. I don't have money. Womp womp. That's just not my problem. Hold up. Let me uh, get some... Some good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Some necessities. Nice. Sucks for the people that are actually broke, but then again, I'm finna be broke soon, so... I know what I'm ranting about. And just like that, I've been reduced, or my pocket has been reduced to just $200. Damn. Oritania Hotel, sleep amongst the clothes, alright. That must feel pretty great, you know what I'm saying, to sleep amongst the, clo the clothes and stuff like that. Wait, hold up, I actually want to capture a Krabby though. Yeah, I think I'm low-key going to capture a Krabby for this gameplay. I want to use mods that I'm not familiar with are mods that I barely use so most definitely for sure so please don't die all right you can survive one more hit and then we're good right you can most definitely survive one more hit and then we're good all right nice now we can start to chuck some pokeballs at and stuff like that all right load up my speed that's fine that's absolutely fine come on please just just one pokeball I'm begging you Nice. Is it just me that hates using like more than one Pokeball on a um, Mon, right? I just love when my Mons get captured in just one singular Pokeball and I don't have to be trucking like 20, 30. You know what I'm saying? Like you are bound to get captured. Stop moving so stubborn. Hold up, let me... Alright, you know what? We're just going to clear the um, Krabby... The crabby infestation before we get a heal, right? So let's just do that real quick. Cure him. Alright. I was not expecting. I was not expecting uh that to do that little damage. I was kind of expecting the first tackle to do like what half health, and then the next one to just kill. But I guess that didn't uh that didn't happen. Alright, nice. Alright, there should be one more. Let's see. This is the last one. Last but not least is you. And we all know I am speeding this up. Wait, we had our orange berry? Nice. I did not know that we uh we had a orange berry. Well I mean I knew that we did get some orange berries from a tree back in Chandra Village, but I did not know uh, we had a or Eevee had an orange berry of its own, right? What? You got rid of all the Krabby? Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. Come on, little bro. We can finally go and play on the beach, right? Yo, you all be. I mean, I don't think it's. I don't think it's a wise thing to leave those kids unsupervised. Like any little thing can happen to them. Like, L parents, if I'm being completely honest with you. Like, you should always be at your child's side whenever they're going to uh, go near, like, the water. Especially if they're of, like, that age. You know what I'm saying? Because anything can happen. Recently, Pokemon have been going missing from their trainers. Watch your back because the thieves might be coming for you too. I mean, I ain't scared of them. Pokemon centers are great. So you can use your services as much as you like and it's all for free. For sure, for sure. Alright, alright. so with that done out of the way, let's go on ahead and check out the uh, hotel and see what's popping, you know what I'm saying? Sleep amongst the clouds piqued my interest. That's popping, yo. Recently pearls have been washed up along the Sunrise Town Beach. Though they cannot be sold in shops, pearls are highly sought after by collectors all around the region, alright? Yo, if you came here to find trainers to battle, you'll be disappointed. Nobody here battles, they can't even deal with while crabby. Me? I'm just here for a relaxing holiday. Leave me alone, alright, so you're just as useless as the rest of them, alright, cool. Cool, yo. Alright, so this is most definitely where we're going to be ending this episode off. Here in the next episode, we're going to be moving onwards to our next destination. And do we have the town map? Do we even get a town map in this uh, place? I don't think we do. Wait, hold up. Uh, I'm trying to... 
I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Is KJ's mother, not KJ, I keep messing up the her name. Is Tyler's mother the one that we have to go to to get the map? Or is someone else going to give us the map later on into the game? Because I have no idea. I might go back and check off screen. But we're most definitely going to be leaving it as is for right now. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I'm going to definitely see you all in the next episode, right? See ya.